Ted looking like a pretty okay day. Yeah, not bad. Uh, it's more of the same what we had yesterday, kind of a quiet day. We are going to see little nuisance uh, things if you look closely here. Every so often you see a little lowering of the clouds and you see maybe a spot or two of mist blowing by. We had that yesterday. Here's time lapse from our Monday with our Lewis Donato camera from Assisi Heights uh, looking at some low clouds here every so often and right before sunset, a little bit of mist there as well. We even had a few flurries overnight into this morning. We even have, uh, we've actually in the last hour had some freezing drizzle. Uh, checked the parking lot and some of the station cars parked out overnight. Had a little crust on them from some of that overnight freezing drizzle. Some more that's still a possibility over the next hour or so. But right now, a quiet scene as we look northward. 18 degrees. That's our Lewis Donato live camera is still low clouds kind of limiting the visibility at least to a couple of miles from Assisi Heights. That's live now looking toward the heart of uh, the Med City right now. 18 degrees temperatures not bad for this time of the year. That's about 10 degrees above what we typically see uh, for this time of the morning in late January. So we'll take that as a win, but uh, the temperature is overall not moving much. In fact, they'll be topping out right at what we consider the seasonal level, right around low and mid 20s later on. 23 right now, Winona 17 in Preston, Osage, Iowa now 16, 18 degrees again, the Med City. Six, the wind chill. Air pressure is steady, 30.16 inches of mercury, and the wind chill in most spots, uh, single digits to maybe low 20s. So not a whole lot of wind out there. Nine in Rushford. It feels like 12 right now in Winona. Satellite radar, one solid sheet of gray. Really can't detect the freezing drizzle that has been going on, but it's one of those things that doesn't show up really well on radar imagery anyway. But we may have at least the possibility of that little disturbance that has moved south in the area, generating that ahead of an area of high pressure. The high trying to scour out the clouds. This one will not win out. I think we're going to stick with the clouds throughout the rest of today. More active weather from the northwest will reinforce that gloom with some snow going on to the west. This particular band of snow across the Dakotas will skirt the area uh, to the west and southwest tonight into tomorrow. We'll stay mainly dry at from that system, but another one will come in and that will bring us a chance of snow coming up uh, late Thursday into Friday. That's the end of the work week snow and then over the weekend things dry out. So for this morning, maybe a spot or two of some freezing drizzle and a couple of flurries for the early morning hours of the next hour or two. Then we dry things out for the afternoon uh, for the rest of our Tuesday. 18, uh, the temperature basically steady there for the morning commute, and it may be a little slick in a couple of spots from that freezing drizzle, but so far not that many reports of it going on around the area. Just a little bit of that. Just one of those things to keep in mind. And at the very least, you may have to do a little scraping of the windshield. 18 right now in Rochester. It's 18 in Algona, 19 in Minneapolis, Eau Claire, 21. Freezing drizzle, then dry skies for the rest of the day. Light breeze only around 6, 7, 8 miles per hour. 23, the expected high sunset just about quarter after 5 this afternoon. There's that high pressure gliding southward, keeping our winds light. Gray skies over that, though. And there's that snow chance staying west of us on future cast. It moves through western Iowa and eventually down toward Des Moines and into uh, northern parts of Missouri by uh, later tomorrow. We'll stick with the uh, dry, quiet gray skies through tomorrow. And most of Thursday, the next storm system comes in from the northwest. This one is taking aim in our area. That looks to arrive by Thursday evening, perhaps into Friday as well, with a chance of very light snow. At this point, not even as much as an inch expected out of that minor system, but that looks to be the end of the work week. Another system at the end of the weekend. In fact, early next week, there's a chance of rain and snow as we do see a warm up for a couple of days, and that's with a strong cold front that comes in uh, by early next week. It'll see uh, just ahead of that front some 30s, and then the, yes, rain and snow possible. Uh, uh, later the day on Monday, but temperatures today very typical for late January 23 in Rochester, 20 in Albert Lee, uh, upper 20s in Winona with a spot or two of freezing drizzle, maybe an area or two of fog, but a visibility right now not all that problematic. Northwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour, very light winds tonight, 19 the overnight low, seven day forecast, more 20s over the next couple of days what we expect for the end of January. But as we move into February, it looks halfway decent. We'll have some temperatures mainly in the 30s, at least for the first three days. So better than last February in some ways. A uh, chance of uh, some sunshine, especially on Sunday. You know, it's not bad, but it's still cold. So some indoor fun is definitely.